friends, welcome back to another art vlog. This week, I'm tackling many artists' biggest question, how do I find my art style? I've spent a lot of time trying to improve my skills, but now I'll show you how I'm mindfully and intentionally practicing to develop my own art style. Of course, along the way, you're bound to make art that you consider bad or a failure, as I did in this video. But I'll show you how I learned from those mistakes to help me develop my art style even more. a guest in the studio today and he has kindly agreed to let me draw him so that's what we're doing this week I want to practice more portraiture hopefully it looks like him and thank you very much all right let's do it I haven't drawn a complete portrait from life in a few years and it was a lot more stressful than using a reference picture you have to deal with the added pressures of time constraints, movement in yours and the model's sitting position, and changing lighting. All these factors really challenged me and I struggled with this portrait much more than the last one. It can be easy to fall into the trap of thinking our skills should progress in a linear fashion. The next portrait we draw should continue getting better, right? However, there are so many factors that go into creating what I consider a successful artwork. The pose, the lighting, or even my mental state can all make or break it. Learning to ride these waves of progression in art skills helps me to be kinder to myself and see what I need to spend more time practicing. In this case, for shortening and rendering softer lighting. Overall, this was a fun challenge and it reminded me that I need to draw from life more often. I want to take a quick second to mention that I'm launching a monthly newsletter. I'll be sending out updates once a month about the artwork I've been making, books I've been reading, and any resources I've been watching online to improve my art skills. This way, all the information is in one easy-to-read place sent directly to you. The link to sign up if you want to is in the description down below.
this painting was difficult for a lot of reasons, so I won't make you sit through watching me struggle with it for too long, but I'm still showing it to you because the lessons I learned were very important to my art style development. The first thing I learned from this failed painting was that I needed to gesso the panels so the paint would not wipe away so easily. I had a really hard time generating the right values because I couldn't get the paint to layer on top of each other. The second thing I learned was that reference pictures are so important for my painting success. I enjoy painting subjects with more defined or unexpected lighting situations. The picture I took of Brett in the studio was too far away, not a very flattering angle, and did not have a strong lighting source. I should have known that if I struggled with these issues in the drawing, they would only get worse in the painting. Eventually I finished the painting as best as I could, leaving some proportion and value issues, but I decided after three days it was time to take the lessons I learned and apply them to a new painting. After that painting, I needed a clear direction of where I want to take my art style. I went to Pinterest and made a board of paintings that I was instantly drawn to, and took note of the style choices that they shared. Compressed value scales, green and yellow color schemes, and deconstruction elements were all qualities that I could now easily identify as things that I want in my own art style. so much happier with how this painting is going. I think the thing that made the most difference is putting that additional layer of gesso on and then sanding it down so that it had a little bit of a texture for the paint to grip to. I can definitely tell that it's so much easier to put paint down and it not immediately move. The reference picture that I chose for this painting is just a thousand times better. It had better lighting, so the shadow areas and the lighter areas are more defined, and that's just making it easier for me to find the correct proportions and map them out on the face in the right areas.
This painting process was infinitely better than the last one. It's the first work that I've made that I feel really resembles the art style I want to have for myself. It just felt like me when I was creating it. We all have those types of artworks we see and are inexplicably drawn to. Being able to create something that gives me that same feeling tells me I'm on the right path to developing my art style. If you're also trying to find your style, I highly recommend collecting images of artworks from many different artists that you are drawn to. Then pick out the similarities you see between them. These are the qualities or subject matters that you can begin to incorporate into your own works to mindfully and intentionally develop your own art style. Thank you.